Hey guys, how are you all doing today? This is my first review of 2011, so high five! Oh yes, anyway, my first review is on The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. This is the second book in the Maze Runner series. Check the Maze Runner out if you love dystopian action. Questions galore, there is some gore, but overall it is a crazy, insane ride. And I really enjoyed reading it and... Oh, I tried thinking of a way to get around the spoilers in The Maze Runner, but I don't think I can do it. So for those who haven't read The Maze Runner yet or who intend on reading it in the future, I suggest not watching this. I'm just spoiling the end of The Maze Runner, so no big deal. I, yeah, sorry guys. If you have read The Maze Runner, keep watching. Or if you don't intend on reading it, watch anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll wait till you press the back button in your browser and you can go back away from this video. So we shall wait till you go. They're gone. I think they're gone. Okay, it's just you and me now, guys. Let's talk about the Scorch Trials. I am going to give a very brief synopsis and we'll talk about characters and the plot. So let's get on with the synopsis. So here's the big spoiler, guys, at the end of The Maze Runner. We find out the maze is just a big freaking test. A test to see what these kids are going to do. How are they going to escape the maze? And so Thomas and the other gladers escaped the maze and they were rescued and they were brought to a new facility to rest up. Just as soon as Thomas thinks that he's safe and the worst is over, he could not be more wrong. They were taken in by this false sense of security and they find out that there is more to this test and that is what the Scorch Trials is all about. Yeah. So basically what the Scorch Trials, it's basically getting from point A to point B and you'll find out all the details why and where and the crazy crazy fun stuff. Hijinks and craziness, horrifying things ensue in between the journey and it's insane and scary and crazy. Hunger Games or the Scorch Trials. Which hell would I rather go through? But unlike the Hunger Games, this is for saving humanity. We're not in a post-apocalyptic scenario here. We are in an apocalypse and the world has gone to hell. There was action, adventure, plenty of it. This is a fight for survival. It is do or die for them. There is a bit of romance. I wouldn't classify it as romance, but something akin or similar to it between our main character Thomas and Teresa and a new character. That's all I'll say about the synopsis. Let's talk about the characters. Of course, we have Thomas. He is our main protagonist. Thomas, he is a range of a character. He is brave, courageous, friendly, endearing, sentimental, jerk. He can be angry. He can be obnoxious. He had some eye roll worthy moments. I can sense the frustration and the anger and the angst. There's so much angst. They're very genuine and realistic. So that's what I really like about Thomas. He is is trying to do the right thing and his intentions are in the right place so Thomas I thought he was cool of course my love will have to go to Mino and Newt especially Newt I love him for those who read the Maze Runner is he English or is he Australian I have no idea I can hear his accent in my head and I just love him he's a very likable character and Mino he is the sarcastic smirky smart ass in the book. <laughs> Sarcastic comments does come off a bit thick. You know how I love my sarcasm. Probably more quantity than quality. Overall, I thought Mino was freaking hilarious and funny. There are also some new characters thrown in. I would say in regards to them, I thought were a bit predictable. That's saying something coming from me because I usually have no idea what's going on until it's explained to you. There are other crazy characters, but I won't get into that because that would be spoiling stuff. Anyways, so let's get to the plot. I thought it was fast-paced, action-packed, adventurous. There were some weird, crazy scenarios going on. The trials and tribulations from point A to point B. You're gonna be on the edge of your seat, I think. There were a few chapters in there that were extremely, extremely good, and I really enjoyed it. There were some instances and plot devices like 
the sleeping and the passing out. Kind of too much of it. Plot device to find out backstory of the characters, build up the plot. Thomas seemed to pass out and sleep through most of the awesome crazy stuff that's going on around him. It's hilarious. Yeah, anyways. You know what drove the Maze Runner were all the questions and why they were in the maze, how they were gonna get out of the maze. All of the questions were the driving force in the Maze Runner. And although the Scorch Trials, there are questions posed in the book, what drives the story in the Scorch Trials is the survival aspect and how these characters are going to survive the next day. What you will do to survive, kill or be killed, that kind of scenario. Anyways guys, with that being said, I am going to give The Scorch Trials by James Dashner a readable. I will say that it's not as good as The Maze Runner. I think I like The Maze Runner better. The Scorch Trials was really, really good though. I thought there were some moments that were kind of anti-climatic. The Scorch Trials, definitely check it out. Anyways guys, that is my review for The Scorch Trials. I hope this was was helpful and you guys liked it have a good night and i will talk to you guys later bye um 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 anyways <laughs>